Good morning, everybody. This is Martin here, and welcome to the Breakfast Show Money Talk with Smart Robbie. I'm your host, Martin Wong. As we examine and had a good rest over the weekend, we were covered by another wave of big coronavirus that we've seen in the US. Now, that's what's happening after Donald Trump did his Tucson rally. So the market is taking a jitter, but this morning, my last check, the market is just down slightly. Therefore, I believe we are going to a correction mode. But let's examine the facts that we see right now, shall we? Now, let's look at the main story for this morning, as we look at is the KLCI Invest. That's right. Now, this is an ongoing initiative by the authorities every year where we want uh, investors to come in and they are looking at the past. Now, of course, in the past, it's not that good. Very important going forward. How do you attract the FDI? As I've been saying in many of my episodes, the foreign direct fund that is flowing into BUSA because we are talking about money talk, so we're only relevant to BUSA in, the, in terms of foreign funds coming in here and investing in the market, of course, for longer term and not the hot money. It is important to maintain this momentum in here. FDI are coming in, but they are trickling in. But with the post-COVID-19, are we will be seeing more? Now, all in all, we cannot depend on the past to make us feel good. All right? Now, let's look on to the second story, which really a concern for most Malaysians. It's the amount of debt that we're having. Now, the Malaysian debt, we all know, we, two or three weeks ago, we have the Panjana, right? The Panjana stimulus, we have about almost 32 or 35 million, another 200 billion. So where is all this money coming from? Some of you may be asking. Of course, we borrow money lah, from corporate, borrow money from the public, EPF and all this. We cannot run away from what we have, that is. Just like US, the saving of the debt is going up and so is our country too. Now, if you look at this, the federal government debt so far is 58.8%. That's around 823. Now, remember, during the last Pakatan Harapan, we have our ex-finance uh, minister saying that our debt level is about 1 trillion. Right now, that 1 trillion has gone up by another 100 billion since uh, the Pakatan Harapan. Is this the work of Pakatan Harapan or Perikatan? We don't really know. But if you look at this... Um, news, the debt level has gone up to 1.1 1. 1, uh, uh, 1. 1 trillion. Huh? This is a typo mistake, not billion, but it's trillion. And that represents a 78.8% GDP, March 2020. So that's a typo error. Do take note of that. Can we do better? It's going to be a challenge going forward in there. Now let's move on to more interesting co uh, the corporate news that highlight that we have. Now first in line is no other than FNN. Now, FNN continue to grow. Now, some of you may think, you know, FNN being what it is, people still need to consume and all this. But FNN has always been focused on uh, sports drink, you know, the very famous uh, 100 plus, which I do buy a lot during Chinese New Year. I'm sure you do too. So, that kind of thing has dropped down according to this report. But having said that, it is still a tough time moving forward. Now, if you look on, on the FNN, let's type up the FNN. Uh, FNN in here, type it out on Roby. Okay, let me just switch to uh, a bigger, wider chart for you in here. So you can see FNN, hit that one. Right? And, uh, okay. So you look at this one here. Let me switch back again. Okay. Okay, my screen seems to be free. <laughs> okay. okay, let's look at the fundamentals. Okay, it's coming up. Okay, uh, F and N. This morning, my screen seems to be lagging on my smart Roby. Okay, okay. So you can see from the chart, all right? From the chart, the stock fundamental is coming up. Yes, it is. All right. So let me just switch over here. I do apologize for that one, but do ha happen. So you can look from here, FNN, right now, the PE is 29 times. Of course, you have a copy of uh, Smart Ruby. Do check it out in there. And the ROE of 16%. 
That to me seems to be uh, very, very uh, pricey. Now, if you look back on the chart that you have here, right, you can see right now the rating is only two. So this, again, in my opinion, is considered to be pricey. Not something you want to be buying, but we can look at other dividend paying stocks. Let me just share with you also too. Now, let's look at the next stock that we are in story here. But before that, let me just brought out the highlight of this news is that the net profit is down 2%, 202 million. And revenue is also down slightly, minus 1.9% uh, to 1 billion. Not a big problem, but we expect food beverages to do much, much better. Definitely Nestle, uh, which is more into the makan makan, the Maggi noodle, which people buy a lot. That should do very, very well. Okay. Now, meanwhile, we are here. Let's look at the FNN chart. Okay. We can look at the chart. We hit on the stock comment. Okay. And uh, you just bring up the uh, stock chart that you have, right? So you can see uh, it's doing $32.50. So check out your smart Roby, you're able to see that one too. All right. So let's move on to our next story that we have is HSL construction. Now HSL construction seems to be very, very stable. Now why is it doing that? Because they wanted to make sure that the uh, backings, which they have a lot of projects that come is backed by 2.2 billion. Now if you look at that, why is this story important? It's because the news that is perceived to be negative and that's smart Robbie running is artificial intelligence. All the news are coming down in here. Uh, if you can, let's take a look at HSL charts. Okay, it looks like the uh, my screen on it is a bit slow, so it doesn't matter. You can look at your smart Roby on yourself, right? But very important is they have a book order for six hundred million for FY twenty twenty. Now, if I press on to my stock fundamentals, I have here in Hock Seng Lee. You can't see on the right side of the screen, right? It's doing a rating of two. A rating of two. It's not really an investment for a longer time. Maybe for a trade. Let's look at the uh, stock chart again. You can use on the smart Roby on your side. Uh, it is still holding up just below 117. A good support 108. Okay. Nothing much to, to really be concerned of, but this is something more of a longer term. We will look at some of the more interesting ones in the premium alert. All right. Now, next one is massing, right? Massing, we know property is hot because of the banjana. But really, you now I've been talking to some uh, of people in this line. They're saying that now people are very tight fees. It's because of, you know, going forward, they're very really unsure of the future. And would there be any jobs? So people are tightening it. Will massing still make wave? Despite of you know all the stimulus that we're going, but Ma Seng is looking to tap into this bank for at least next uh, eight years in here with a three rating by Smart Roby. Okay, and it does pay a six percent dividend. Not too bad. But can he focus? But the the basic of the story is that they have a lot of unbuilt sales, close up to 24.8 billion for the next eight years. But demand, 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 ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be important. Are we, will we be seeing more demand coming back? All right, that's something being on, but definitely with a 6% dividend. And if you like Ma Sing, check out Ma Sing. Go on to Smart Roby, type Ma Sing. Right, in front of my chart here, I can see uh, right now Ma Sing is down one percent and let's look at the uh the stock comment and chart it says here it is bullish rating 87 percent bullish rating that's great right and uh, it's actually at the pullback you can also look at the trading plan click on the trading plan okay the trading plan is buying if it goes above 61 cents and the last price traded is uh, 52 cents or you want to buy at the pullback which is 52 cents 52 cents ladies and gentlemen is the pullback price I mean. let's take a look at what i mean okay just to show you a bigger chart here so this is a bigger chart you can see we'll hit on the massing 
right? The chart gets bigger a bit. And right now, 52 cents seems to be a good level in here. You can see the chart will expand out nicely here. Okay, let's move back to the next slide. Okay, now for our next story, okay, we have our premium alert this morning. That's right, that's right, of our premium alert. If you look at our premium alert, uh, morning talk, we selected on the 19th of June. Now, we have broke it down for our viewer in here, our storyline, so you can actually watch it on YouTube. It's also on Facebook. If you can come back and watch it, there is a timeline in here. But I want to draw your attention to uh, timeline number 8 and uh, number 8 and number 7. So you can see on 8 and 7, Comark was picked uh, much earlier. It's up almost 30%. We have selected uh, the noise uh, last week, minus 3 and minus 2. And we selected Naim and Icon. So let's look at Naim today. Okay, where is Naim since we selected that? Uh, and uh, look at stock price. Okay, Naim is still at 85 cents, not going anywhere. Of course, you want to click on also to the stock chart. Okay, stock chart Naim is actually going higher in here and it just turned a green pentagon on Friday. Interesting enough, it's a, it is a green pentagon on Naim. That's right. So maybe we're going to see a bit more upside in here. Let's check on, on the uh, stock price uh, to right now. Okay, let's tap on to the KLCI. Okay, the KLCI from here is down two points or down zero, minus 0 0.15 um, uh, percent in here. Okay, it's still on a yellow trend, so it means a bit bearish. So people do be careful. Look at the stock chart and you know what I'm talking about. All right, so let's look at ICON, which is the last chart that we have. Okay, which is selected last Friday. ICON stock price. Okay, ICON stock price is also muted at uh, not moving anywhere. We don't know. It's all going to be based on the oil and gas movement. Will we see a nice oil and gas movement moving forward? We might. Then we'll see ICON moving up. Let's look at some of the shares that we have for today. Okay. So for today, uh, we're going to go back to main menu. Okay. Main menu. And we're going to look at the uh, premium alert. All right. Premium alert. So do look at your charts. All right, do look at your smart Roby and follow with me. We have at number one in here, okay, Anzo, 9342. All right, the screen is up. Then we have the Nissin, uh, Wetman, 0197, WZ Satu, Al Sawit, uh, PCCS, Glotec, HLHI. Now, there was a news came out on LHI, Leung Hub, which they bought up. Baker Cottage, which is good, you know, they make eggs, they produce eggs, uh, basically, and then they sell it back to the uh, Baker. So Baker Cottage, you know, that seemed to be good. And uh, early on, there was one stock that actually came out, which I generally like. Uh, here, okay, was, um, okay, in here, let's look at 6633, okay, 6633, which is Leong Hub. Now Leong Hub, let's look at stock price for Leong Hub. Stock price Leong Hub is up 3.9%. Uh, 3.9% in here doing at 81 cents. Of course, let's look at the uh, stock price and uh, stock chart. Of course, we can go over to trading view for the real time chart. You can see here, so we move up, right? And we have the, ah, very nice. On last Friday, it moves up, make a, a, a up trust. You can't, oh yeah, it's coming up, but the uh, the chart is on the right hand side, it's a bit slower, it's a bit on lagging. I think it's because maybe of the machines that I have in here to set up and in here. So it's still holding up. I do think this is a good spot to be buying. So uh, Leong Hub, so let me just write this down because this is my update in here. And we will also select another one. Okay, another one that I will like. Just close this back. In here, uh, we will look at. I actually like those technology one, uh, technology one, because we, we are seeing those technology really moving. Uh, 
I prefer not to. Nissin is one of those very fast moving one. I'm looking for Anzo, uh, anything less than 10 cents. I don't like it. Uh, WZ Satu. Let's look at WZ Satu, okay? 7245. 7245, we can hit the stock price. 7245, woo, up 12% this morning, isn't it? Wow, already up so much already, right? Uh, let's look at the uh, the real time chart. We can click on the real time chart in here, right? And uh, you can see this takes me to the trading view, which is our proprietary real time chart in here. Okay, nice line change you could see on the chart itself when the chart comes out. A nice line change in here. You might wait for a pullback at uh, maybe say uh, 25 cents. I like this too. Huh? Chart WZ Satu. All right, WZ Satu will be the other stocks that I'm looking at. So I'll just write down WZ Satu and LHI. So I'm going to update this. So when you come back tomorrow, we'll be looking at LHI and WZ Satu in here. All right, so because we want to keep updated of all the stock picks that we have and see how well we do, will one be doing as well as Coma? That's right. So you can see right now on the chart here, the price is coming up. Okay, let's go over to our next story. Okay, the next story is just going to be more of what's happening this week. Now, there will be two. Uh, events. One will be our Saturday Fundamental One Day VSA course. So it's from 10 to 5 p.m. We're doing on Zoom. Registration is open. If you're interested, there's a number there you can call. And there's also another free talk this Saturday. So check it out. It will be on the 9.30 to a.m. to 1 p.m. and organized by UBKM. And guess what? I'll be speaking there too at 11.45 to 12.45. So registration, I believe, is at the Trade VSA. So check it out in there. And there'll be going to be a rubber glove update by the UOB analyst and also a market update and a couple of stock picks too. We'll check it out. So I hope to see both of you on those two events. All right. And so the headlines for today before we end is the great disconnection. Now, this is a chart of the S&P 500 March 23rd was featured on Bloomberg. Now, usually when I see charts like this, you can read all the details on there. But it simply tells me we are looking for a correction. Okay, so this correction may be a good time to buy. So bring up your smart Roby, get ready to buy those stocks in here. And I'll be with you for tomorrow. And don't forget, join our Telegram followers. We are more than 4,000 over in here. Be updated with all the news, trading tips. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching the Morning Talk Show with Smart Roby. This is Martin Wong signing off. Bye-bye.